Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 38 of The Gilded City 2, The Lost Kingdom. Uh, we're excited to dive right back in to uh, all the excitement. Um, it's been a little while since we've played, uh, so please excuse any rust um, that uh, uh, you may see. Gotta um, clear out the cobwebs. Gotta clear out the cobwebs, <laughs> as it were. Uh, but we're excited to be back. Um, let us uh, let us know if you're excited about this episode by leaving us a like, a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the podcast, follow us on social media at Rollers Guild D and D on Threads, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, and that's all the things. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on in to tonight's episode. Content warning. Ravenloft is a setting, can feature disturbing themes and ideas, and while it is never going to be our intention to upset anyone, it is worth noting. Specific tags can be found in the description of this episode. Last time, the party checked in on the remaining miners, making sure they would not transform into slotty in the near future. With the guidance of one of the surviving miners, the party was led to the entrance of the cavern system beyond the mines, where they found another of the pieces of the orrery of the Wanderer that Nyx has been searching for, before being attacked by a beholder. After slaying their foe, the party settled in for the night and shared a vision of a meteor plummeting into the mountainside long ago. So, that is where we left off. As the vision fades, um, you know, you feel that sort of thrumming from deeper within this cavern system, almost like a heartbeat. And the whole, like, cavern system around you seems to shake. A trickle of dust falls from the ceiling. And you have a dreadful feel, dreadful feeling that something deeper within the cavern is coming back to life. Uh, there is a single passageway before you all into the next chamber. Had we peeked down that way? Uh, I believe Bowman. I think I was going to. Okay. I didn't see God, anything. What I saw. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Bowman uh, did. Matt. Uh, did peek down that way. Um, didn't see anything of note in the next chamber. Well, <clears throat> well, I guess we uh, <clears throat> are we all feeling all right. Have we had a rousing speech this morning yet? I think um, we did. I think I still have fifteen temporary oh, hit do. points. <laughs> You don't, so you don't I think remember, so. <laughs> you don't remember I, uh, Janara Nix giving us a rousing speech ten minutes ago? No, actually, I don't. For some reason, I don't know why. Mm. Wow, I really got to work on my uh, motivational speaking. No, I'm no, sure it was it, great. It was, it was, it was very beautiful. tired. It was beautiful. I cried. Hopefully, I'm, you got the benefits of it. I do see them now. Yes, I was not paying attention. <laughs> um, do you? I'll proceed? go first. Yeah. Uh, you proceed into the next chamber. As I noted, um, not much of interest in this room. 
Um, I will there... stealth. Hmm? What was that? I will stealth into the room. Okay, yeah, roll a stealth check. I believe with disadvantage. Oh, um, shit. I was gonna say, is Bowman good at stealth? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, let's see. Oh! Seven. Seven! Uh, there's nothing in this next chamber, so you, you, you're fine. Um, yeah, as you enter this room, there doesn't seem to be much uh, of note in here. Um, you, you see, you know, bits of stone debris indicating that perhaps there used to be something in here, um, but nothing, nothing of note. Uh, you do have passageways to the left and the right that you can take. Can we listen in to, I, to both ways to see if we hear anything? I would also like, I will listen to the other direction. Who's listening to the left, who's listening to the right? I will listen right. Okay, okay, I'll listen left. Okay. Um Artemis Artemis Penny um goes to the right hand passage, make a perception check for me. And then Janara Nix goes to the left hand passage, make a perception check for me. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Also twenty-two. Also twenty-two. All right. Uh oh, the, of the new year. Oh wait, no. Yeah. Was that first? First, 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 roll, 20, yeah. first roll of 2024. Yeah. Uh, this is the first time we're recording in 2024. Yeah. Peek, peek behind a curtain. <laughs> Sorry, um, guys. Sorry. No, don't want to apologize. Uh, anyway, um, the right-hand passage, you listen down it. You don't hear anything other than the continued sort of rumming heartbeat. Um, but you do smell a sort of, uh, a moldering, like, stale, sickly sweet air. Um, so... Body. Yeah, that's what it smells like down the right-hand passage, and sounds like down the right-hand passage. Down the left-hand passage, you hear very, very faintly uh, uh, just, like, underneath this thrumming heartbeat, what sounds like chanting uh -huh. in a strange language. Um, what languages do you speak? Um, common, dwarvish, elvish, and infernal. You, it is not in a language that you speak. What a weird experience to be body swapped and suddenly no new No language. other languages, but they're still not helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any, like, lingering gnomish? It's also not in gnomish. <laughs> okay. Everyone knows bathroom in every language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it is also not in gnomish. I would say you would know if it was in Gnomish. I don't know what other, like, I don't remember what other languages Nyx knows, but. It's also not in Thieves' Camp. Okay. That that would be the only other one, probably. I can tell you in just a second. Uh, you know Elvish, too. Okay, well, I'm, Janara knows Elvish. Well, there's chanting this way. Um, I don't know if that it means we should go that way or if it means we should not go that way. But That's should we the way we should go? Should we all try to listen to the chanting and see if any of us might know sure. what they're saying? That makes sense. Yep. Does anyone have doesn't someone have comprehend languages? No. None of us have a I little thing. at least used to on Janara. Maybe. I may have gotten rid of it for something else when I leveled up. I can't remember. There's also a monk mm -hmm. ability. Pretty sure that was Octavia. I've got speak with animals. Um. Well, it, once the noise is pointed out to you all, you all can listen. Um... <laughs> But when I, gets don't, out, I don't suppose anyone knows deep speech. We stay in the shallows. 
Wait, check pennies. Because I feel like I always throw one random one in there. <laughs> no, whenever Penny... I do languages, because I never know what I'm looking for. Or what Penny I'm... has Penny has two, and it's common in Elvish. Oh, never mind. She she studies <laughs> so, so random abroad. I always feel like I throw one in there. That's weird. Not this time, apparently. <laughs> um. All right. Well, I mean, we're gonna have to go in. Yeah. Do we? Or we we could take Probably. the other. Could you hear the thrumming through that hallway too? You hear the they thrumming both... in both directions, yeah. But the either way smells like death. Just because it smells like death doesn't mean that we're going to die. It might be a no. passage I mean, that is. Take... We can we take it to... first to see what we have, and then, I mean, we're going to have to end up going to wherever that chanting is, because we're going to have to kill whoever is at the... Probably. Yeah, or that's... have a conversation Maybe. and convince them to stop. And that normally we... results yeah. in... I believe that, uh... But if it is oh, a oh. if it is a beholder, we gotta... Or some sort of mind situation, we gotta kill that. Yeah, Alita might have some uh, spells and stuff that are particularly proficient against uh, undead sort of creatures. If I remember correctly. I think I tried uh, to keep a lot of those. You have speak yeah. of dead? Would you also help? have generally turn undead, which is just a normal, like, it's and it just should just be under actions. It's just a normal, like, class feature. Yeah. So, so which way are you guys going? Left or right? We can go right first. Death smell. Yeah. Death um, smell and then chanting if we need to. Yes. Sure. Sure. Okay. Maybe I don't take the lead this time. I'm really. I'm talking. gonna take the lead. I mean, I could take the. I could take the lead. I'm Nix is not going. Nix's body is not going first. <laughs> <laughs> I. I mean, Nix could take the lead. And like sneak ahead. I'm yeah. just thinking, Janara is pretty perceptive, so she could like sense something if it's coming. Mm -hmm. Everyone stay kind of close to me. I'll be in the middle, 10 feet from her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be close behind Janara. Okay. So as you approach, it is very dark in this next room. Does Janara have dark vision? Um, no. Wait, didn't we come up with a solution for this? But she can cast light. I believe that was your solution. You yeah. had like a, a lit up rock or something. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, you would just have to recast it because it is a new day. Sure. Um, oh, yeah. But we'll say you do that. Um, as you are approaching the entrance to this next chamber, um, the first thing I'll tell you is that uh, you immediately notice as you approach, this, approach the entrance to this next chamber, this glistening black red like substance mm. seems mm. to knit its way all across this next room um and it takes you a second to recognize it as spider webs mm. but these are black spider webs yeah i don't like this we should turn around and run away <laughs> i'm gonna throw up careful where you're stepping <laughs> Um, there is another passage leading out of this room. Shit. So, you can, you can go back, or you can try going through this room. Do we see eight little eyes glistening in the light somewhere? Oh. Um, well, right now, Janara is the only one with a good enough view, so she will need to make a perception check. So you haven't fully entered, you're at over the threshold of the room. Sixteen. 16. You peer into the darkness uh, uh, of this of this room um, and you are sort of looking around trying to see if there are in fact any spiders in here. 
Okay, patterns. Let me. Hmm. Watch really Ben set all this up, and it's just like one little daddy long leg. <laughs> Completely harmless. He's just you, been here. You got a you got a sixteen. Yeah. As you peer into the darkness of the room, you look up towards the high ceiling and your flashlight beam, or not your flashlight beam, your the light beam, right. the lit up rock, um, catches the carapace of some weird, twisted, aberrant spider hiding up in the darkness. Its limbs seem to start to unfurl as the light hits it. Yeah, there's a spider. Yep. Yep. Um, and it's, it's, it, I, like, quickly put the, like, just, just put the rock oh, under right. my shirt. <laughs> oh. Yep, there's a spider, and, um, I think it knows we're here now. Can we just cast Fireball? Oh, it's oh, <laughs> Is that a good idea? Would we burn the mine down? Burn the mine. Down. Does somebody want to cast fireball into the next room? Does somebody have fireball? Does anyone have fireball? I don't know that we have fireball. Yeah, fire I don't think store. we have fireball because uh, Octavia had fireball. Artie has psychic fireball, basically. Mm. I just searched psychic fireball. That was a, that was not. <laughs> you have too many spells. Oh my god. Hold on. Why don't we all back up mm -hmm. slowly? Left foot, right foot. I would like everybody to make a stealth check for me. As oh, shit. oh, Jesus. Can I cast pass without a trace? Nope, not. Didn't do it early enough. Not this time. Okay. Oh no! I got a net 20. Okay. I got 13. A okay. Got 17. Six. What did you get, uh, Nyx? 26. And then, uh, uh, Lena? Not 20. Okay. Well, hey, that was a lot of really high rolls. So you <laughs> all back very slow. <laughs> no, no, no. Out of the spider web room. Not today. I and just want to remind everyone that I... a moment I and nothing room. follows you down the passage. Okay. I'll give um, you I'll give you that uh credit then there. Thank Artemis you. Penny. That we should not have done that. Thanks, Alina Me. <laughs> yeah, good job, Artemis. Good suggestion. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> guys, this is all right. Shall we go to the chanting then? I guess so. Can we turn invisible? Should we turn invisible first so we can stealthily try to check it out first? Can I, I'm gonna pass pa cast pass without a trace now. I was gonna say not everyone can turn invisible. Right, but can we at least get some people? Probably. Maybe. I feel like I don't have I don't have invisibility. Artemis doesn't have that. That's right. That. I thought he I just I think I just dropped it. Because uh... so many other people have it. Bowman's got it. Oh, I think I may have dropped it too. Yeah. Oh. I don't I well. You I damn have, spell caster. I have disguise <laughs> self, but that's <laughs> oh, I do have dark vision. Can. I can cast dark vision on myself. So okay. I don't so no one has think invisibility. I can. Bowman has invisibility. I I don't. But I can't I give us get multiple. Idea. I could get like two people I could upcast. But then that means I have one less big smite. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You I just pass. I just cast pass without a trace. We got a plus okay. ten. Yeah. Okay. We should We're be fine. Okay. all right. Well, roll another. And just um, <clears throat> remembering, if they're, if they are humanoid, maybe we try and reason talk with them. Well, first. if they're miners, we can um get rid of their. If they have a little curse, we can get rid of it. Yeah. Kelly, I am so sorry. I am rolling bad for this. It's that's just how Nick's rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Are we doing? Do we get a modifier? You get plus passage? ten. Okay. Thirty-six. Thirty-five. Thirty-seven. Twenty-one. Twenty-six. 
27. Yeah, I I consider <laughs> yourselves pretty well, uh, pretty well stealth. I would hope we, so. Um, we all just start levitating off the floor. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it was a save of thirty-seven. <laughs> um, we don't have you... any of the companion critters with us, right? No, I don't think so. so I don't think we did that. Okay, good. As you all step into this next room, it seems. The chanting gets louder, but you don't see... You're being very stealthy. You're sticking to the wall, sticking to... Well, it's pitch black in here, but sticking to, you know, hiding behind stalag, um mites and just sort of trying to get a gauge on what's happening in this room. You hear the chanting get louder and louder. It's definitely coming from this room. You're not sure where specifically and then another vision sort of overcomes you you see a scouting party venture into the ripped open mountainside um that the meteor created when it crashed to earth as they enter deeper into the mine there's a pulse of violent uh, red and green light, um, and the vision shifts. You now see a large group of people, humans and gnomes, building an elaborate altar to Gotul Mosh in these caverns. <clears throat> you then, the vision flashes ahead again. You see a group of robed humanoids gathered in a chamber somewhere in these in these in these caverns around a dining table you see them crushing up the glowing stone and sprinkling it onto their food behind them is a yawning abyss and floating over this pit is the very meteor that fell to Earth so long before. And finally... What were the colors? Green and red. Christmas. And, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh-huh. Uh, and finally, the uh, robed figures chant in a strange language as a crowd of other rogue figures looked on. They shove forward a poor unrobed person, a bag tied over their head. They are lashed to an altar, and one of the higher robed figures brings down a dagger made of the glowing stone into the center of their chest. Yikes! Hmm. And the visions cease. The chanting continues. Hmm. Quick logistics question. We were told to retrieve some very special ore, right? As proof? Yeah, how much you want to bet that but, cool special ore? But also the boss of the mine said that he would write us a note for Mordenheim if um we get everything done. Like a letter it's, basically being like they I did think it. We killed him though. Yeah, but no. the other there was another person that yeah. was like, Oh yeah, well, the person oh. that didn't go in with us that because we saved the minor people. That's right. That's and right. They were like, "Oh yeah, we'll write you a letter of recommendation." But they were like, "But the mine or the the ore still is not like the mine's not productive." Um, okay. out of this chamber, you can like that. You can still you can still hear the chanting, but you do see two passages in the wall to based on where you came in, and the wall to y'all's right. So two passages, they're basically next to each other. Um, they both angle very slightly different directions. But the chanting's definitely coming from this room? Chanting's definitely coming from this room. What do we want to do? Can we, like, see? Are there other stalagmites to, like, creep around and poke around? Like, is yeah. it a room... Filled with stalagmites that like people might be hiding behind, or there's a doorway hiding, or um, go ahead and make an investigation check if you're searching for people or oh. 
secret doors or anything like that. I'm gonna find it. Two. Two. Uh, nope, room seems clear. Um, those two ways out are the only ways out that you know, that you can find. Oh, I do have invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> what did it <laughs> Why did it come up when I searched it? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Or is there like a center of the room that doesn't have a bunch of stalagmites? Yeah. Can I look up and see if there's any floating rock? Uh, no floating rocks in here. Nothing. Nothing in this room. And based on the visions you all had as well, um, this room is not the room you saw in the visions necessarily. Okay. Where are the passageways in relative to where we are? Like, could we go to the passageways without being, like, way out in the open? You would have to get into the center of the room to... Okay. Should I cast invisibility and just poke around? Sure. Yeah. Makes you want, yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. Be careful, though. Don't go yeah, far. I, I feel like I... Yeah, I feel like I'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do that. Okay, uh, wait, so let's just say passageway A or passageway B. Which of these two passageways that are in the same wall do you a. want to go A? Okay, you creep down this passageway, find another much larger chamber in the next room. As you peer into it very carefully, um, you see countless eyes peering all around in this room. Coating the walls and the ceiling of this room are countless eyeballs blinking and turning and looking around. I am going to back away very quietly. Uh, there are other passageways out of that room as well. This sure. Sure. Um, but you back away. Uh, do you want to check out passageway B? Yes. Check out passageway B. Passageway B leads you to a smaller chamber. In the center of the smaller chamber, atop an altar, is a still beating heart. Um, and a normal sized heart, and you don't think it's the source of this loud thrumming noise that you hear. Uh, this is definitely like a human heart. Um, and also on the walls, hanging from hooks on the walls of this chamber are horribly uh, uh, moldered uh, uh, cult robes. Mm. Okay. Are there passageways here? Yeah, there's one passageway out of, uh, one additional passageway out of this room. I want to check that very quietly. Okay. Uh, creeping down that passageway, you reach another larger room that there's the way you came from and another entrance near the entrance you just came from into this chamber. And then across from both of those entrances is another, is, a, is an exit to this room that is sealed by a magical red barrier. That's like glowing. Okay. That is glowing. Okay. I will leave. How far up are the cult robes on the wall? Could I grab them? Yeah, yeah. They're at like, this seems like it would be a room where like a cultist could come and like grab their robes to change into for like okay. ceremonial shit. So they're hanging I'm on like normal height, you know, hooks. They're I'm going to really grab shape, but they're still there. I'm gonna grab six and make my way back. Okay. Of nicer, of the nicer looking ones. Of as best as you can find, yeah. which are still ragged and filled yeah. with holes and what have you. But great. Bring them. Okay, back I will them. go back to my friends. I will tell them what I saw, and I'll also tell them that I got robes in case we want to play dress up. Cool. Nice. Cool. Good find. Yep. Yeah. So eyes 
or beating heart altar with um, glowing red barrier door? I mean, definitely the heart, right? I don't know. The eyes. I Should we really stab the heart? You, you could just stab the eyes. But That's a lot we, of eyes. I feel like the heart we need to stab. Is this not the sacrificial heart? Is it running something? I don't know. You said the wall, the barrier was red. Was yeah. it the same color as the beating heart? Like, did they look like they're linked? I don't know. I would have to ask the beyond to tell me that, Ben. Um, <laughs> based on your first glance, <laughs> you are not 100% sure. I am not 100% sure. Based That's on my first glance. Hmm. Uh, I, we could go to the door and all kind of investigate it, though. Yeah. Probably. Okay. The eyes thing kind of. I really me. don't want to do the eyes if we can. I would rather deal with the spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which only has eight. Yeah. Uh, so avoiding the eyes room, then you go through the heart room, yes. and then proceed into the chamber with the glowing red barrier. Um, as you sort of enter this room, you get, get a, you can get a closer look at this glowing red barrier. It has, you know, this shimmering energy to it, pulsing very slightly. You see sort of the, the cavern walls around the barrier have been carved to resemble, uh, columns, um, but you can see, like, grotesque sort of shapes worked into the column of strange entities um, like those you have fought thus far. And above the door, carved into the stone above the door, are the words, show your devotion to Gotul Mash before you may prostrate yourself before him. Hmm. Ooh. Does that mean we have to sacrifice somebody's heart? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Could we just get the heart from the altar? <laughs> or maybe somebody's head. That could work too. Do we have any dead bodies in the portable hole right now? We have one head. I am incredibly hole. uncomfortable if this works. The head or the heart? <laughs> Well, and also, do we stab it on the altar, or do we bring it to the door and stab it? I think the altar. Okay. Should we do it? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go stab it. Oh, mm -hmm. I took the general's head. The heart or the... The heart. Head. Oh. I'm going to stab the heart on the altar. Okay. Did we, did we know that? Yes, you've known. Yeah, you we all, did. You all know yeah. that, and Artemis we was it's what made Artie upset very mad. Him. Um, so Artemis is not going to pull out the head Artemis is from not going to touch hole. it. He will um, hold out the cloak and say, you can grab it. Oh, you, I, don't, I, we, I don't need to grab it yet. You we'll backtrack to the previous room and um, stab the heart, but your uh, uh, weapon bounces off of it. Oh, what? Even the little spooky curse blade? Can I? Even the little spooky curse blade. Can I check the spooky robes, spooky the cult curse. robes? Or, uh, or the altar? Oh. See if there are any, like, specific knives? You you make an investigation check for me. Mm. Five. Five. You don't find it. Do we know anything about Gilgumush? What is he a uh, thing of? What does he worship? A meteor. A meteor. There's some kind of. Can we take ore and forget? No. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, so what Artemis just said, can we take ore from it? You do remember from the last vision that the dagger used in the ritual mm -hmm. sacrifice was made of the glowing ore. And we can't take it off the wall, right? You could. 
Oh, there is some you, on the wall? Yeah, I mean, it's like around. I said, this whole, you'd have to dig into the wall a little bit to get some. But okay. this whole, uh, the reason the miners investigated this area in the first place was to find more of this ore. We so finally get to use our... If you got we something that things. you think could break into the wall, you could attempt to mine for some of this ore. Does anyone have Mage Hand? If only Nick somebody does. had a crowbar. Can we Mage Hand to get some of the ore and then use that to try to stab the heart? I, I don't mean, think the Mage I'm Hand, sure. the Mage Hand can only hold five pounds of... Well, let's get four and a half pound orb. Yeah, but it's got to get out yeah. of the wall. Ow. Can I use the crowbar? Uh, we have dynamite. Ahead. Let's use the crowbar for crowbar. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, make a. Uh, we'll call this. Just make an attack roll. Let's, let's oh, just call it an attack God. roll. Not great. Um. Well, eighteen. Eighteen. Um, yeah. you slam the crowbar into the wall, you chip away some stone, and as you do, this very faint, uh, glowing green light comes from, uh, uh, beyond that spot. Um, okay. you have found some ore, you can keep chipping away at it, um, and eventually break off a piece of this ore. Right. Uh, you I'm can gonna grab, like, a little cloth or something. Okay. So grab it, so I'm not actually touching it. Yeah. Um, I still need you to make me a con save. Ah, what is with rolling eight? Um, and you add five. Oh, 15, 20. Thank you. Oh, wait, no, it's based off of your, 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 your saves thing. Uh oh. All right, never mind. Sorry about 15. that. 15. 15. Um, Something about this is, it like, sets you off. It, like, just the feeling of this, it, I, you can't identify it, really, but the hairs on your skin are standing on end. Um, you get this prickly feeling, and I will go ahead and say you take one level of exhaustion Ooh. just handling oh, yeah. this ore. But you are able to use it. It's got a little bit of a pointy end, so you can use it to stab into this heart. Um, and as you do, it succeeds in destroying the the heart, um, and you hear a whoosh sound from the room uh, further in. I think that oh, worked. Nice work. I'm just gonna throw the radioactive thing in the hole. Yeah. Hopefully, they didn't need that for anything else. Yeah. Um. Well, as you all uh, uh, go into the room where the barrier formerly was, you see that the barrier is gone, allowing you access deeper into these caverns. <laughs> Excuse me. So the barrier has dissipated, um, allowing you to step into the chambers beyond. Uh, oh, that is not. Do we know whose heart that was? I um, thought of that the minute I was starting to stab it. That I should have waited and fi tried to figure that out. I figured it was the person they sacrificed. I mean, their heart was already on the outside of their body. Right. I mean, yeah. it was still beating, but I don't know what it was beating. Like, like I <laughs> There wasn't any blood in it. Although, would we even understand how a heart works? Maybe yeah. a legal one. Yes, <laughs> most of you would, because you're from a... a... You're from a world that is in the real world equivalent of 1900. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but would, like, a yeah. working class person but, without much education know how a heart Yuzu works? doesn't know how a heart works. And Let she's me tell you. a 27-year-old modern woman. So. <laughs> With a mask. Yeah, I skipped that day in health class. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Artemis you know knows basics. how heart break works. You, know, you, you all know the basics. You know that there's an anatomical heart in your body that pumps blood. I thought it was like the Grinch. <laughs> no, that's actually canon. That is what Nick. Uh, 
Bo- Bo- Bowman in Nix's body is slowly going, do I know? So <laughs> as you step into the, the next group. chambers, um, you see this is a trio of connected rooms. There is one greater passage leading deeper into the mine. As you step into this trio of, of rooms sort of all conjoined to each other, you see another se- another series of visions. A group of uh, chained prisoners being brought to the grand altar of Gultul Mash. Um, the high priest declaring them heretics and saying that their sacrifice will nourish Gultul Mash. You see the peoples, uh, you see the, the, the cultists, but also just other people in the area um, over several years growing pale and sickly uh, with rashes and boils. Meanwhile, animals with strange deformities prowl the mountains around Goltul Mosh, Mosh's caverns. And deep within the inner sanctum of these caverns, Goltul Mosh's meteor has grown blood-red spikes and spines attaching it to the cavern walls. You, uh, uh, the vision then fades, excuse me. I was going to mention this earlier, but every time you say the god's name, I just think Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh, every time. (laughs) Goldulmash. Goldulmash. So then when I go to write it, I'm like, Golgamesh? I've just been writing Gilgamesh. <laughs> um, okay. So you just had another series of visions. There's another passage uh, uh, leading beyond this room. So should we just go forward? Probably. I don't see another option. Can I roll Uh, a perception check just to... uh... Yeah, make a perception check. Does anyone want to do, like, a detect magic or traps or anything? I I can detect... um, Perception, I got a 24. 24? Um, the, The thrumming sound is definitely getting louder. You are approaching the source. Well, well, let's let's skirt around the edges good. so we're not around the middle, yeah. and we'll keep uh, <clears throat> we'll keep going. You carefully make your way through the next through through this series of chambers. And eventually arrive into a room uh, with a literal glowing statue in it. Mm. This statue appears to be of a human, um, a very well chiseled, uh, uh, handsome uh, uh, human. And on the base of the statue is a plaque reading Only through following Goltul Mosh can we achieve this perfection. Behold the future that awaits the faithful. They are, in fact, hot. Yes. Um, Unreal. Just another unrealistic expectation for men. uh, And as you're looking at the statue, you get another flash of vision. Oh my god. (laughs) Where you see you see (laughs) robed figures. Nyx does not like having things in her brain. She gets enough of it when she goes to sleep. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Right now, at least. You have another flash of a vision where you see robed followers patrolling a village and grabbing children with um, with deformities, particularly extra eyeballs. Um... Saying that they have been blessed blessed by Goldulmash, and they must be taken away for proper training. And the visions. So, do we think that, like... Okay, thinking from, like, a logical perspective here. 
meteor, boom, crash. Radiation everywhere from this, from this, from this meteor crashing. People are like, we're going to worship this. They keep hanging around the radioactive rock. And then new children and the next generation are all deformed. Yeah. So yeah. Are we just going to be fighting a bunch of mutants? It seems I really like hope it. not. That will be really sad. How yeah. from these visions have we gotten an idea of how long this thing's been here? Seems like quite a long time ago. I mean, this was a. It looks like in all the visions, it looked like the area around this cavern used to be thriving, teeming with life. Yeah. Nothing lives here now except the miners. Right. I can't believe it hasn't gotten in like the water supply to nearby towns. Maybe it has. Yeah. I mean, Mordenheim seemed fine. Well, that's not a good They're idea. also pretty Sell far your, away. Sell your body? Yeah. Right, yeah that's fine. You're right, yeah, that was not good, yeah. Is there a passageway in here? There is another passageway deeper in. And as you proceed through this passageway, there it is. You arrive in the center of these caverns and get one last series of visions. You see secretive meetings of disillusioned followers of Gopur Mash speaking about the horror from beyond the stars and how it has corrupted the land. You hear, you see these disillusioned followers riling up the townspeople. You see the townspeople invading these caverns. You see a bloodbath. You see the horrific, indescribable form of Goltul Mash, an almost mockery of a humanoid form, corpse-like with a long, gaping jaw, and at the end of one of its arms, long and distended and meaty, almost like a club of flesh at the end of their arm. And you see the disillusioned followers of Gokul Mash collapsing the entrance to the cavern, trapping within Gokul Mash and the survivors. Oh. And as the vision fades, you find yourself in the center of the cavern. You may go ahead and load up the battle map. The center of the cavern, where a, a truly massive room, lit by a low level of glowing red light. In the center of this room is a massive pit. Um, going deeper than you could possibly imagine. And floating above the pit is a ah. large meteor. Growing out of it are tendrils of red crystal and spikes of red crystal. And standing atop uh, uh, roughly the size of a person, though thin and tall, is... The figure you just saw in your visions, Gotul Mash, gray-skinned with a long jaw and a disgusting, distended club at the end of one of his arms. This is a chasm? This is a chasm, and floating in the center of the chasm is this meteor. And you all are on the ledge at the edge of the chasm. This oh, is huge. And you hear in all of your heads a voice say, Hungry. Mm. And we'll go ahead and have everybody live. Yeah. Oh, I thought this was going to be a uh, no combat. Oh, but we didn't get a chance to negotiate. Yeah, <laughs> let's negotiate. You want to negotiate with Gotul Mash? Yeah. 
my um, god a plus zero initiative Incredible. all right you make Next. up for it for hitting really hard when you get your turn uh Keyword, when i get Nick's, my turn <laughs> nick has got a 23 artemis 15 Dinara. eight Bowman. One, baby. Ooh, nice. Penny. 21. And Elena. 10. All right. At the start of initiative is Nyx, then Penny, followed by Gotulmash, then Artemis, then Elena, then Janara. And finally, Bowman bringing up the rear. Cool. Okay. So, Nyx, you are up first. How how far is it from that middle thing? From where I am. 60? Yep. Yeah. 60. About 60. 65, 60. Gosh, what can Nyx do from here? Um, I guess I will just shoot. All right. As a reminder, I will just let you know, because number one, not the characters used playing. Number two, first yeah, time we played in about a month. Mm -hmm. Um, Nyx does have a bonus action called Steady Aim, which yes. get, does give you advantage, but you cannot move. Okay. Uh, I don't think I really would... Anything beneficial will happen if I do move right now, so I will just... I will Steady Aim. Okay. So roll with advantage, and if you hit, you get to add your sneak attack. Cool. I'm using my um, my revolver, by the way. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, that hits. Okay. Okay, just from the revolver, it takes 13 damage, uh, plus 6, so that is 19 damage. And then sneak attack is what again? Five d six, right? Uh, whatever it says, it is. I think so. Oh, I have missed two dice. Oh, ho, 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 there's a lot of fives in here. Okay, that's an additional 23 damage. And the revolver is magical, correct? Yes, the plus one revolver. Great. Okay. That's Nyx's turn. How many legendary actions uh, does this guy get? At the end of your turn, he is going to spend a legendary action. <laughs> uh -huh. He's, He's so scared. So funny. Uh, you see uh, Goltul Nosh goes <gasps> and as he does, <clears throat> an Say orb what? of psychic energy appears around Nyx and shatters. Uh, and Nyx, you are going to go ahead and Take well. Let me roll the hit. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, thirty hits. I believe. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and take. Ooh, one that's damage. Pretty good roll. You're gonna go ahead and take twenty four psychic damage. Ooh. Oh. Ah, I have a bit of a headache now. 
Yeah. And with that, that brings us to Penny's turn. Okay. Um, just reminding myself how this works, because I have three attacks per action. Can I use the lightning launcher three times? Yes. Okay, then I'm going to do that, Great. I think. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, 27. That hits. Uh, I'm going to just roll to hit 15. 15 misses. Okay. And then 30. 30 hits. Okay. So that's two hits, one miss. Let me. It's two. Sorry. Uh, nope, you're good. Trying to find the right dice. And 22 plus 12 is 34 lightning damage. Nice. And I don't think there's any bonus actions that I would like to do. So that will be it for Penny. You want to move or are you happy where you are? Mm, I'm okay where I am. Okay. Uh, it is now Gold Tool Mosh's turn. Gold Tool Mosh levitates up off of the meteor and proceeds to fly there. Oh. Uh, Is he standing on anything? Standing on midair. Good. Okay. Um, however, oh, you no. can... So these red sort of spines and spires, you can climb down and across them if you want to get to okay. them here at any point. Or, you know, if somebody can fly, that obviously isn't so helpful in these circumstances. Um, anyway... Goltul Mosh is going to fly forward to this spot. Can't quite get within range of its uh, uh, melee attacks. Um, but quite. can't quite. Um, but it's going to make that sucking in horrific roar noise again and target. Uh, let's see. We'll target Penny and. Elena and um Penny and Elena and let's say Penny, Elena, and Bowman, the three of you since you're right there. Right time. there. All right. That is for Penny, a 24 to hit. For Bowman, that is a 20 to hit. Just hits. And for Elena, that is a 14 to hit. That was a bad one. Nope. Okay. So, uh, Penny and Bowman, you are each going to take two points of damage. You're both going to take 15 points of psychic damage. Thank you, temporary hit points. <laughs> and goodbye, temporary hit points. <laughs> um, okay. With that, that does bring us to Artemis's turn. Okay. Party. Okay. Okay. We're gonna... Okay, Eldritch Blast, Blast is three hits, right? Because it's level... Okay. Okay. Plus a bonus action spell if you want. A yeah. bonus action to inspire. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna do Eldritch Blast. Do I have to roll the hit three times? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
We're not doing that. The same as using your lightning launcher. I understand that. I just forgot. It's been a while. No, that's fine. Okay. All right. The lowest one is a 19 to hit. 19 just hits. Woo. Okay, then. Then all three hit. Um, okay, I need a D10. Okay. So we've got we've got a nine, a ten, and an eight. Great. You boom, uh hit uh go tool mosh. You yes. add your modifier to those. I did. Okay, good. But plus five. Yeah. Yeah, that was with the uh, Cool. <laughs> we... It's only 1d10, though. Yeah, for each yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Plus um, five yeah. Great. Um, and then I will inspire Alina, because she's after me. What All do right. you do to inspire Alina? Um, Stay healthy so you can keep us healthy, please. Great. But awesome. in a song. <laughs> um, so good news for me, uh, legendary actions regenerate at the start of a, of, uh, Gold Tool Mosh's turn, which of course means that he has all three back, because the ability I want to do does cost three legendary actions. Thank goodness. Um. So happy for you. Gold Tool Mosh turns to Artemis, and whips out after you just did that series of blows, whips out with the arm, which can't reach you yet, but you feel this weight of psychic energy slam into you as it does. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. This isn't a spell, right? I was going to say, is It is not spell? classified as a spell. It is just an ability. Okay, you said wisdom? Yes. Saving? Oh. Son of a bitch, you're 15 feet away from me. So I'm, yeah, I'm away from, okay. Ugh. Hold on, let me get my good dice. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. Okay. Oh, God. Luck. Thank God. <laughs> oh, I'm using a different dice. Artemis is not wise. If we haven't figured that out. Nat 20. You... <laughs> First was a <laughs> nat one? <laughs> you bastard. All right, well, I guess I rolled all that damage to nothing. Um, not on the floor! Nat 20 on the floor! <laughs> um, so 21 plus... The you resist one. the weight <laughs> of this psychic attack on your psyche um, and don't take any damage. Oh, <laughs> so, don't, 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 don't antagonize him. <laughs> uh, that does bring it to Alina's turn. Cool. I'm going to cast Moonbeam. It's a Constitution 17 saving throw. Okay, Con 17 saving throw. I believe it takes half? Yes, half. If it... Well, that was an 18. Okay, so it'll take half damage. Rolling my dice and Sam's dice separate just so I don't mix them up. Okay, math. 30, 39, 43, 40. Eight, so tw half is 24 damage. Great. Yeah, I'm going to need this again. Thank you. Okay. Janara. How far down 
Oh, you can't see the bottom. Okay. Um. All right, then I'm going to cast. So the rest of she doesn't take falling damage. She takes falling damage if it's more than five times her monk level. Oh. <laughs> uh, I haven't encountered yet. No, but I do feel like if I can't, if we can't see the bottom, that might be more than five times the monk level. Um, we're gonna. I'm gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. I think... Well, how far away is he? Like, is he up or is he at eye level? He's a little up. But not, like, substantial. Not up. crazy up. Um, I mean... Yeah, we'll do... We'll do... We'll do... Eldritch Blast. Well, we got uh twelve. Okay, we got twenty-three and twenty-six. Two hit. Um ten points of damage total. Great. Are you gonna move or are you staying there? See I had a really cool plan if he hadn't moved. Um, but I think I'm going to... Um... Um, I'm gonna... Shadow step Come on. onto this spot. Okay. You disappear into the shadows and reappear on one of the um, spires of the. Now that you're standing on it, it feels like kind of crystalline okay. under your feet. Um, so this sort of red crystal um, connecting uh, uh, the meteor to the walls of the pit. Okay. Uh, that brings us to Bowman's turn. Oh, good. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to run forward because I'm very concerned about whatever happened to my body. Um, Say, hey, don't pick on the pretty one. Pick on someone ugly like you. And I will jump off the cliff. Okay, great. And as an action, deploy the wings. Okay, great. Bat wings. And we're going to get right up close to him and kind of get in his way of seeing... Artemis? Sure. Because I'm a selfish boy at heart. Yeah, no. Um, bonus action as I'm flying up to him, I am going to cast Blinding Smite. Okay. And that's my deal. Perfect. Yeah. Um... All right, that brings us to Nyx. So, so Bowman's kind of running interference right now. And he's not too close to me. Uh, what is Nyx? Um, you see where I clicked on the screen? How far yeah. down is that from, like, the edge? I would say it's about 15 feet down. 15 feet down. So that would hurt if Nyx fell that far. Yeah. 
Okay. And I'd probably have you make a check to maintain your balance. Okay. Um. Well, I am Six. going to... I'm just going to walk around. Um. Would you say that there's probably some stalagmites in here that I could possibly hide behind? Interestingly enough, there are no stalagmites in here. <laughs> however... This is not very mixed friendly. However, I will say you do have an ally within five feet of Goltul Mosh. So you okay. would still get a sneak attack if you hit. You can't just get... Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm just gonna move a little bit. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stay exactly where I am then. I'm going to just do the same thing I did last time with my revolver. Okay. Are you bonus actioning studying then? Yeah. He already has sneak attack. Yeah, but advantage is still useful. Fair. Yeah. And with how I'm rolling, I can <laughs> use it. Unlike the you. curse Unlike of Nyx. I, it's it's the character. I swear. It's the curse of Nyx. Although I've still been rolling poorly, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, that was a twenty-six to hit. That hits. Uh, 22 from the revolver. Ah, 22 from my 22. There you go. Sneak attack. <laughs> 25 from sneak attack. Great. Uh, that brings us to Penny's turn. Uh, Kira, you're Penny now. <laughs> I am Penny now. I'm going to do the same thing I did before with the three attacks. Great. Go uh, for it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 30. Yeah. A nine or 29. Yeah. And a. Is that. Th uh... Another 29. Right, yeah, all three hit. Okay. Is he looking rough, Ben? Yep. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, he started off not looking too great. He started off not looking great. <laughs> he do be very ugly. Yeah. Is 37, 30, 39 plus. Hold on, I got. I can't do math anymore. You don't need it in your adult life. Kids, listen. You don't it need it. matter if you fail math. You don't need it. 57 lightning damage. Great. Woo. I have an engineering degree and I don't use math. That is a that is a huge chunk of damage there. Um with one attack. Um are you moving or are you good where you're at? Um Yeah, everybody look out for Penny. She's about to get hit. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Let's see what do I have? 30 feet. I'm gonna move around. To like here. Okay. <laughs> um, it's Gold Tool Masha's turn. So, uh, anyway, so Gold Tool Mosh is going to take its. What was that? Moonbeam? Does he get damage again? Oh, yes. Um, I do need to make another con save for that as well. Don't mind. Mm -hmm. It's at disadvantage because he's ugly? Mm, no, it's not at disadvantage. <laughs> I was an 18 on the die plus his bonuses. 
So he takes half damage. So it's going to be, oh, that's 38 divided by two. It's that much. 19. Yeah. Yes, oh. 19. Thank 19. you. Okay. Great. <laughs> you use Sam math. Uses math. <laughs> I use math all the time. Same okay. school kids. I um, <laughs> Gold Tool Mosh's skin sizzles in the moonbeam, but he doesn't seem overly concerned about it, even though you can tell his body seems to be breaking down. Ah, uh, I hate that. And he lashes out with his club arm against um, Bowman, actually, uh, three times. Ooh. So the first Ooh. one that is a um twenty eight. I'll allow it. Second one is a sixteen. Miss. And the third one is a god damn it, fifteen. Miss. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and take Um, thirteen bludgeoning damage, and additionally, as you are hit by this, you f hear a sizzling sound. The club arm, which is organic, seems to be coated in some sort of bile, which adds an additional. Ew. That's a working hazard. Yuck damage. Adds an additional 13 acid damage. Acid? That sucks acid. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. And Keep it PG here. That Sorry. is cool. That's a go tool Mosh's turn. Uh, which will bring us to Artemis. Um, I want to cast Shatter. Which is a con saving throw. Okay. But if he... Uh, if he succeeds, he still gets half as much damage. Yep. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. He got a... 19? No, that fails. Okay. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Okay. Boom. Still hanging in there, but his head reverberates with the horrific sound of the shatter. Um, his jaw sort of breaks off. Um, and he's still sizzling in the moonbeam, but he does not seem to care just yet. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Can I cast Misty Step if I cast a spell as a bonus action? Or I can't do two spells. You can't do two leveled spells. Oh. Okay, never mind. Um, at the end of your turn, he's going to turn his gaze on Penny and attempt to do the same thing if he attempted on Artemis. So, uh, uh, lashes oh. out with the arm um, and not enough reach to get you all the way over there, but you do feel this weight of psychic energy hitting you. So go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. 16. 16 is a failure. Luck? <laughs> but she said it so positively. Can I do That's luck there? way worse. So 16. Oh. Ben, can I do luck there? Doesn't matter. Or failed. She failed. I know, but I used luck on. She wrote right. again. What's what does it say? The second for time. Luck? It was worse. I'm... It, if it doesn't have a range, then yes. Oh, that's true. Um, you have three luck points per long rest whenever you make it. Then uh, you can spend. Hang on. Oh no! But before the outcome is determined. So. Um, you said it too quick. <laughs> well, you yeah, did. that's true. It's you be speaking too did. quickly. It's no, fine. I, I still let you use the luck point if you wanted to use it. She just got a worse result on the second luck roll. 
Hmm, um, I don't know that's how that works. That's exactly how that works. Overruled. Wait, <laughs> hang on. Hang on what? What are you trying to determine? I had luck on the 16. Yes, and she rolled again and she said, I got worse. Oh, I missed <laughs> that. Salem's in my business. I missed that. Okay. So, name the cat. So, you take 35 points of psychic damage and Ew. you are stunned. Okay. Rude. Well. It's okay. Oh, it happens. How do you get unstunned? Uh, it depends on the circumstances. Uh, Elena. Constitution saving throw, please. Yes. I'll start rolling damage so that I can count. That's a 20. You get half. Thirty-one, thirty-eight, forty-two, and half is twenty-one damage, please. Okay. As the moonbeam continues to sizzle on Gultulmash, um, his body melts away into a gooey slurry that gets magnetically sucked into the meaty. And the spines and spires on it glow slightly oh, more bright. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. And we can exit no. initiative for now. Oh no. Um I would like to shadow step back up to the landing. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the fuck out of there. So Everyone's comfortable in their current bodies, and we should just leave, right? We don't mm -hmm. have to do this. <laughs> I want to get closer. I have a question. How far are the little pendrel thingies connecting to the ledge? How far down are they? Could we reach down and cut those? 10 to 15, depending. 15. But we did see the thing floating before there were tendrils. Yes, you did in a vision see it floating before there were tendrils. Mm. Um, Bowman, you're getting closer. Yeah, I want to break off one of the spikes. Great. As you fly over and you go to hit one of the spikes, as soon as you make contact, Bowman disappears. <gasps> Where'd he go? Oh, God damn it, Artemis. My body! Wait, where is he? What happened? Okay. Um, well, I gotta go get my body. So, how can do... someone throw me across? Okay, thing let's. Or okay, Wait, no one, no one, one fucking on. move. Because then my body will be gone. Okay, <laughs> then you come too. I. My this is how is lemmings there. disappear. Wait. Can... Okay, can somebody we, send we send our send check or something? I don't know. Can send we... him a message or something and see if. Oh we yeah. Feel... I I'll message Bowman's body and say hello. This is Penny. Can you hear me? The message cantrip does not work in this circumstance. Okay. Do we have se we have sending? I know Penny has sending. I think. Can we try sending? If somebody has sending, you can try sending. I feel like Penny has sending. Kara! Kara! <laughs> <laughs> the suspense! It's a third level spell. She's currently sending. Give her time. <laughs> it's just uh, yes, level. okay, she does have sending. I'm sorry. No, nope, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can cast Sending to try to message, uh, Bowman. Yep, sure. What do you say? Um, this, this one is... 25 words. 25 words. You good, bruh? <laughs> <laughs> am I messaging... Wait, am I trying to message, like, Bowman's body, so should I be talking to Artemis? Yes, yes. 
If you can hear this, do you know where you are? What are you seeing? Um, I need you to roll a d100 for me. Me? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Where the 84. Fuck? 84. The message goes through. <laughs> um, Bowman, you hear that, and I will describe what you see, Artemis Bowman. Uh, you are in a vast dark blue and purple starscape on a series of floating stone islands in this starscape. And in front of you, rearing up, is a new, larger monstrosity that you know is nonetheless Goltulmash's true form. Oh, boy. Good. And with that, we'll end tonight's episode. Mm. <laughs> oh my god! You just had to grab the spiky thing. You had to. I feel like we're all gonna there. have to go there. Thank you all for playing. Of course, we're thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh. Shit. <laughs>